Hi everyone, welcome back to Felix Art World. Here I am doing a dirty pour on this elephant. So I'm prepping it, I'm priming it. That's the first step. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry for a day and I'll come back to it tomorrow. But it's not necessary to wait a day. I just don't have time on this day to finish it. So now I will make a, um, a gray color with this Master Stash Paints Gray in Liquitex White. I will use this gray to cover the underbelly and the legs of the animal since those are the areas that is harder to get to, especially with a dirty pour. It's really hard to get to those areas. I realized the ears are another hard to get place, so I painted the ears as well. So now I'm ready, it's dry, and I am ready to start doing the most exciting part of this painting, the pour. I am keeping this one simple. I'm just using three colors, paints gray, white, and pink, a baby pink. All done now I'm just looking for those areas sections that didn't get any paint at all and I'm just gonna dab paint with my finger I have plenty of it on my fingers as you guys can see
I am done pouring on this elephant. I will stop right here. All the paint you guys see down below, I used it for another painting. And that's in a separate video. Just follow the link and you will see what I did with it. All nice and dry. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's turn it around and see. I really like this section right here. Actually, I would have liked to see more pink. And there's something funny there. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. Anyway, I am going to cover it with paint. I will define the ears the eyes, the mouth, give it shine here and there, add some details, make it look more interesting. Now the pink I'm using here is the same pink I used for the pour except that this paint does not have Floetrol. Now this part I added way too much paint so I'm just gonna clean off some and that kind of gives it the antique effect which makes it look more interesting.
to the eyes I am adding just plain black Here I am using for the mouth, I am using a really dark gray. It's not black, it's, it's a really dark gray. So here I'm adding four toes to the front legs and three toes to the back legs because it's an African elephant. Now I will varnish. I'm going to cover it with a special glue for jewelry that is really shiny, really glazy. So we'll see. Here it is, all finished and dried up and it reacted. The, the blue you see on the trump and the ears, it came out it's a reaction and had to the type of glue i used well thank you for watching everyone give it a like subscribe and to those of you that have subscribed already thank you so much for helping my channel grow up and remember you can see photos of this on my social media facebook or instagram felix our world the links are below thank you bye bye